Hi, my name is Bente, I'm the Norris Witch, and today we will put my new altar together. Before we start out, as always, a little patron shout out. Thank you really much to the Lunar Botanist, Soren, Braden, Diego, Bethany, Hannah, Tell, Timothy, Bjorn, Scylla, Ash, Lorna and Lucy. And now let me tell you why I even got a new altar. So I don't know if you have ever even seen my previous altar. If you haven't seen my previous altar before, I will link the vlog where I think I showed you my previous altar the last time. I will link the vlog in the video description and as an info card so you can quickly look at it if you want to see what it looked like before because uh, I already put it down yesterday. The story why I even got a new altar. I have been quite unsatisfied with my previous altar for quite some time now because one big reason was that where it was there was barely any daylight and that was kind of depressing. I didn't really have a lot of space in front of my altar which was also really annoying and it was just too small. I mean it was really wide, yes, but it kind of didn't really have that much storage space. So I had to put all of my crystals on the altar. The altar was all cluttered with crystals and I had these um, little shelf thingies above it with even more crystals that got all dusty and it was annoying and I didn't really have enough space for my herbs which was also annoying so I really wanted to get uh, like secretary I, I don't know what it's called in German it's called Sekretär because it is basically a bookshelf with a hidden desk in it I will show you in a proper clip. I think these are really, really convenient for an altar because also it has a lot of storage space. So that was really important to me so that I can put all my herbs and my crystals probably up in here, then have my main altar down here in the desk area. And then I have even more storage in the bottom, as you will see. Yeah, so I was thinking, okay, maybe I should get one of these huge big boys and put them in my living room and I was looking for one for yeah, maybe two weeks when yesterday all of a sudden I found one that was really really cheap I found this big boy for 50 bucks and the previous owner also drove it over to my place <laughs> which yeah he took some money for it but it ended up being 75 bucks all in all so it was so cheap. I'm so in love with it. It is so so pretty and yeah, I just couldn't be happier and I <laughs> I found it. I called the owner and um, Yeah, he asked me <laughs> how spontaneous we were and we just went over yesterday really spontaneously uh, Looked at it. I instantly fell in love with it. We bought it. We got it over here So it was just randomly standing in my corridor all the time in my hallway and that was really annoying so I came to the brilliant idea to just rearrange my whole apartment in the middle of the night I think I was finished at 1 a.m. because I had to basically put down my old altar put down my daily altar because I still wanted both of my altars in the same space I had to put all of that down store that somewhere and my apartment is not big so it wasn't that easy um, I had to move all the furniture. Previously behind me was my kind of stock shelving unit for my shop. So I had all of the like packaging materials and crystals and stuff back here. I had to move that to my bedroom. I had to move my desk to my bedroom. So now my bedroom is basically a storage unit for my shop and an office just with a bed. <laughs> it's kind of weird now, but now I have my both of my altars in my living area where there is much more daylight I am much happier with it and I managed to get everything rearranged I wasn't quite sure if I would be able to do that on my own because I'm not that strong but I did it I did it I proved to myself that I could do it yeah 
So uh, I already put my daily altar back together. I will probably get rid of this like dirty, old, nasty IKEA drawer unit because I basically want something that is just as high as the windowsill. And this drawer unit is just far too big. I'm really not happy with it and I haven't been happy with it for a long time because it's just ugly and really old. I think I bought it like when I moved out of my parents' home. So it's very old. I think if I end up getting another piece of furniture for my daily altar, maybe I will show you how we re rearrange that too. But today we will set up my whole altar. Basically my whole living room is now full of altar stuff. And I thought if I move my altar, I can also just declutter it because I have so much stuff that I think I don't even need anymore, at least a lot of it. So I think we will start out with decluttering. Then I will cleanse this whole baby down because it's used, it's quite old. So I definitely want to cleanse it both physically and energetically. And then we will see how I put it up. I honestly don't have a plan yet on exactly how I want to put it all together. So let's declutter. Okay, I have my first bin right here that I had all my stuff in previously. Whew. Let's start decluttering. So on top I definitely have stuff that I still need because it was stuff that I had on my altar and just shoved in here to get it over to the living room. I have like eggshell powder, which I definitely still need. Um, juniper, which I also definitely still need. Some decor stuff, a huge pine cone, for example. <laughs> a little pumpkin that I should probably get rid of because it's quite old. So this has to go. I have my cute little salt container. Definitely need my salt. Um, okay, a little candle plate, candle holder. Definitely still need this, but I should probably clean it up because it has wax on it. My crystal bowl. Definitely still need that. Where do I put this? Don't roll away. Okay, now it gets more interesting. I still have a tiny little candle holder here. Need that. What the heck is this? Oh, okay, I know. It's candle making supplies. Candle making supplies. Still need that, but not at my altar. Definitely not. Beeswax tablets also don't need that at my altar. So this will go. Um, more candle making supplies. What the heck? <laughs> I just found the tiniest little glass bottle, but without a cork or anything. Mm. Well, okay. Perfect. Found my. My crystal ball holder, it's a candle holder, but I just use it to hold my crystal ball because it's cute. Yeah, I will just keep this little tiny little bottle because why not? Okay. Oh, more candle making supplies. Definitely keep them.
Okay, I did it. Now I have all the leftover candles that are already burned. And here I have this little box with even more of them. But I don't want to. I want. I don't want the tea lights to get crushed. So I put them in a little box. And I also have this little box with candles that aren't burned yet. Not that many. I should definitely get more. And who doesn't have a giant bag of tea light candles, right? So, candles are done. Okay, let's clean this thing. The upper part is already really like physically clean. So I will start down here because there's definitely some nasty stuff there. I have my handy dandy vinegar water solution. Quick tip if you want to cleanse energetically, but you don't really feel like cleansing both energetically and physically separately, then you can also just use the vinegar water to cleanse energetically. Just put your intention into it, visualize how you're cleansing energetically while you're cleaning physically, and that will also work. But I generally just like using smoke cleansing too, so I will definitely smoke cleanse. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so clean. Down here, there's definitely some stuff. Yeah, yeah, secondhand stuff, am I right? Well, random adapter. Okay, put that away. Ugh, this will be disgusting. That's really ugh, the gross part about getting secondhand thrifted ugh, stuff. You have to. Oh, there's a dead spider! Whoa. You have to clean out other people's mess, and that is just disgusting. Wow, definitely dead spiders. Not really nice. Physical cleaning done, now energetic cleansing. I just really like to use my 
my herb bundles. So let's do it. Now that it's all cleaned and cleansed, the first thing I want to do is ooh, put this big boy in here. I got this one ooh, when I was on vacation in the Harz Mountains with my boyfriend. And I intended to use it as a charging station. So that is definitely what I will do now that I have space for it. I have to keep this door closed though, still, because the upper part is not attached to the lower part. So if I open both, uh, both doors, it will come down on me. That's also why there are crystals in there. I had to kind of use my bigger crystals to um, keep it on the lower part. So this will definitely go in there first. And I think then, oh my God, it's so heavy. I guess now I can also open oh my god open this part I'm so afraid that it will just fall because when I first opened the both doors it just fell on me and oh my god that was scary so charging station installed Struggle is real. <laughs> um, I have too many crystals and too little space. And I just realized if I just keep it that way, all mixed, I won't ever find anything if I look for something. And I still have so many crystals left. Um, yeah, well, only one shelf for herbs. Okay, I'll have to reorganize this all again.
upper part is done and it took me ages. Wow. But it looks good, I think. Now let's get to the juicy part. Okay, so this is my plan. I already put in a little bit. In this drawer is like my lighter and gas for the lighter and incense stuff. Over here we have just random crystals that I use often, so I want to not put them in the cabinet up here. Um, I like to keep smaller crystals that I use often in here, but at the moment uh, I don't think I have any that I can put in here, but it's here for that purpose. Um, here I have my little divination corner with my divination cup, with my Lenormand cards back there that you can see is my crystal ball and I also have a little dedication area for my Filpia. And I think, oh, I also already put a little, hello, a little altar cloth here because there's this weird gap and it fits perfectly there. Um, I think I will definitely put representations for the four elements here and I will probably have to put a cauldron here because otherwise it won't fit when it's closed. And um, yeah, we'll see, I will show you. This is everything that fits in here. I think I have everything that I really use most often. That's most important to me. And when I want to perform a ritual or a spell, I will take out the little altar cloth, put it up here, and then I can also add more decoration in the front here. But this has to suffice now because I have to be able to close it again and it still works. Perfect! Now we can handle all the stuff down here, which will probably fit all the, all the stuff I have left, which is not that much. I just had so much stuff on my altar before that I thought I had a lot of stuff, but most of it was just decor and crystals. I think the only stuff I really have left now is big stuff that doesn't fit in the top part. So for example, my big cauldron doesn't fit in there. The big bottle with moon water doesn't fit in there. Um, unfortunately, my incense sticks also don't fit in the little drawers. They're like a centimeter too long. That's really sad. I would have wanted to keep the incense sticks in there, but that doesn't fit. So yeah. Let's fit in the rest. Okay, I quickly shoved everything else basically in here. Come on. Come on! Let me open you! Excuse me. <sighs> wow! Okay, now I have it open. Okay, I shoved everything else in here. It's not that much. My new grimoire, uh, that's not finished yet and that there's nothing in there yet. Um, back here are the candles, here's a little bit of decoration and my big cauldron and then I have my wooden slice here, some small candle holders that I will probably get out often when I perform spells or rituals and the big bottle of moon water. 
that is it for the lower part here. Ah. Ah. Yes. Awesome. But although the whole thing is already filled, I am not ready yet because I still want to put up my little meditation and divination area. So my little meditation and divination nook will be very basic. It will be basically the same as it was before. I have my little, my little fur that I meditate on. I nearly ripped out my, <laughs> my microphone. Um, I have my meditation cushion. And I have a pillow for my back. And just like this, we're done. <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed the process of me setting up my new altar. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm so, so happy with it. I can't wait to perform my first ritual edit. As always, I really hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to subscribe and give it a thumbs up and follow me on Instagram or check out my online shop. Or maybe you want to even consider becoming my patron, who knows? I will see you in the next video. Bye!